This episode, we arrive at the Keppel Islands. It's a cheeky afternoon dive. Catch and cook the most epic crepe pizzas we've ever eaten. That is so hot. And do some urgent maintenance on Papau. Do not want to leave this morning. It is freezing here. And neither of us want to leave. We both want to stay in bed. But we have to get out of here at high tide. So sort of sucks because we literally just got the afternoon here. But we will definitely mark this to stop on the way back down. And we'll hopefully have a sled or something to slide down that huge sand dune. We don't want to be here in the strong subway that's coming through. And we thought we should catch up with our friends and also probably get some better internet so we can upload some videos. Farewell, big yellow patch of sand. Such a strange place. Such a massive variety of landscapes up here. It's really, really cool. After a very boring and uneventful sail to Great Keppel Island, we were greeted with clear water. It's official, we're at the Keppels. Beautiful. Thoughts, Michael? Really nice. Water's clear. Beautiful spot. With four metre spring tides, this area isn't known for its good visibility. Spearfishing in the Keppels can get pretty confusing. The fisheries have their own set of spearfishing closures here on top of the marine park zones, which can actually catch a lot of people out. I'll link a map below which has all the current closures on it, but be sure to check out for yourself that there hasn't been any changes since this video is uploaded. Greenfish and golden trevally are great eating, but they weren't our target species for the day. We are after a smaller and more delicate flavour for a few of our staple meals. With big tides around this part of Australia, you really want to dive near slack tide. There was still a lot of tidal run, so we teamed up with the other boats and took turns drifting with a dedicated drum. Some more on this for me. Yeah. Uh, just grab my mic. This tusk fish is exactly what we are looking for. And in my opinion, these are one of the best eating fish on the coast. got there Michael? It's a cheeky afternoon dive after we anchored. So much like good eating fish there. I didn't see anything real massive. I saw one nice tusky that wouldn't come near me but. That is a freaking feast right there. Look at that. Yum. Lots of tasty stuff. Lots of tasty stuff. My favourite tusk fish. 
Svensson's Beach on the north side of Great Keppel Island has become a very popular spot for yachties. This small shack has developed into a well-maintained fireplace, pizza oven, a fully stocked kitchen, chairs, marquee and even solar lights. Without an oven on Papau, we were keen to make use of the oven and cook up some delicious fire-baked pizzas. I spent the afternoon making fresh pizza bases and a homemade Mornay sauce before heading in for sundowners. You did say that, but I didn't want to look stupid before. Taste it. It's like, um, I don't know, creamy goodness. Oh, quite, quite mild, like, it's not hot. Nice, nice complimentary. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of finger licking going on here. Alright, let's hope this tastes good because it's been a bit of a mission making pizza bases from scratch. It should be quite yummy. Alright, I reckon we're good to go. Hello. Bye! Hello! So, spent today making fresh pizza bases, a Mornay sauce. We've just pre cooked the cray a little bit. Just got cray, onion, Mornay sauce, and some cheese. I'm gonna chuck it on the fire. Bang it on. It's getting it off that's gonna be hard. Just watch the sand and the corn. Oh, very good. So, you guys know how to Should be close to her, like a palm roll. You go for it, mate. I'm gonna press the door. That's pretty crazy. Are we gonna do like, um, I don't know. As small as possible yeah. so we can share it. You, know, you want to just halve style. it or you want to go smaller than half? Go smaller. Just I think you need to pre do the base a bit. I think so too, just yeah. to make it a little bit yeah, crunchy. Yeah, a bit more blackened. Right. Oh, just do it for whatever. You don't like chili. Oh, yeah, right. Get out. Get out right. my willy. There we go. All right. How good does that look? Should we do the taste test? Yep. Yeah. That is so hot. Bottom looks good. Doughy. Oh. So crunchy. Good? Mm. Perfect? Mm. Really? That is good squishy. Alright. Thoughts on the pizza? The bomb. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Michael? So good. I've got to say, in hindsight, those reviews were very underrated. That pizza was so unbelievably delicious that we still talk about it all the time, six months later. Okay, so we just made a split minute decision to dry the boat out because we've been having a little bit of issues with the port engine. It's just the telltale's not like flowing as much as it should be, so we really want to check the impeller. So we're just going to go around to this beach dry out for the first time ever. Pretty nervous, but it looks good. There's no swell today. It might come up a little bit later, which could be a bit of a disaster. We're gonna give it a go because it needs to be done. We don't want to motor anywhere without fixing that impeller. It was a bit stressful anchoring Papau. The plan was to drop the anchor offshore and back her into the beach and put out a stern anchor. We wanted the bow facing the sea in case we had any storms or the surf developed and to make sure we landed on the flat patch of sand that we'd marked out the day before. So I walked out at 20 by 15 metres square the other day at low tide, found a nice soft sandy spot and uh, we've dropped an anchor up upwind of the square and just tied this a couple of metre long or 100 metre long um, stern line to a tree on the shore. Just going to scout the bottom and make sure there's nothing unexpected and then Jesse's gonna clean the hull and I'm gonna drop the legs out and do the impellers. That's the bottom here. It looks like it's coming out of your bum or Crazy, eh? Being able to dry out Papau on a mini keels was something that really appealed to us when looking at boats. If we were in some far flung locations where boat lifts are far and few between and something went wrong, we wanted to be as self sufficient as possible and to do our own repairs. Well, there it is, officially our first touchdown. A little bit of a list, but that's the bottom's fault. 
There's Jess getting what she can underwater. These legs that we serviced last year, pre-greased everything, came off like a dream. It went on like this for hours. Pulling that apart. There's a tender floating around there. Just keep an eye out for stingrays. I saw a few escaping that creek over there. Shuffle the old feet. There she is. That'd be awesome. So glad we got a cat and we can do this. Gave the hull a scrub. Cleaned all the moss and stuff off. You can see that Jotun antifowl that we put on just over a year ago now, it's starting to wear out, so yeah. We've still got a little bit left, so you get probably about 18 months out of it, I'd say. Just give it another touch up. Midges have come out in force already. Just a bit of water missing out of this, oh, not much water coming out of the telltale. So hence the whole urgency to dry out and check this out. I'm just about to pull off this impeller housing and let's have a look. No, oh, she's good. Which tells me that it's probably just this little telltale hole's got blocked with something. We'll have a look. We'll change them anyway, once a year. Here we are. We've got it all done. Antifowl, scrubbed, cleaned, and Michael's working on the last engine. Just about to put the new impeller in this side. And yeah, that's about it really. Just been going hard. <laughs> Tides on its way in rapidly. Oh, I'm just uh, finished doing the final touches, just put the impellers in and uh, played around with the gear linkage. Uh, yeah, so we're just pulling the tender up dry. The water's just coming in now, you can see it. So cool, something so epic about seeing your whole boat. It's nice being high and dry, but I miss being on the water already. But look at that, just we're on a perfect timing. We're on a massive lean. I've cooked dinner. I think we should go eat that because we haven't actually eaten anything today except for a bag of chips, literally. Yeah. And have dinner and hopefully by the time we have a shower and everything, we'll have enough water and we can head out to sea about 500 meters and drop the anchor because I'm tired, I'm wrecked. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. Join us next episode as we meet up with some locals to explore some new dive spots. <coughs> We get used to the Queensland way of life. Beer delivery. And check out Great Keppel Island. If you enjoyed this episode, you could really help us out by liking and commenting on our video. If you'd like to further support our productions, be sure to check out our Patreon page for bonus episodes, updates and perks. As always, a big thank you to our current patrons and welcome on board, Troy. Cheers, guys. No, we made a lobster ball. That's the only way we cook them. You will not eat it with the garlic butter. That's a quite low way. We eat with a lobster ball. Jess's boobs as a reflector. <laughs> Patrons only. <laughs> Working pretty good. Oh, this is different. <laughs> I didn't even know you could sail backwards. There you go. Beep, beep.